Good morning, boys and girls. It's Mrs. Eaglestein. Happy Thursday. I'm going to share my screen for morning meeting. And here's our morning message. Good morning, kindergartners. Today is Thursday, April 23rd, 2020. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and the Fern Gruff Pledge. Salute, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. I pledge to do my best. I pledge to listen to adults and classmates. I pledge to walk through the halls or house quietly. I pledge to be respectful and responsible. Alrighty, weather. How's it been looking this week? I want you to record on your weather chart Thursday's weather. So you should have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and now Thursday's weather recorded. Great. All right, back to scooping. So this week we've been learning to break apart sentences into phrases. And that helps us become a fluent reader. You're going to need a pencil and a paper to follow along with me. So pause if you need to get your materials. All right. So today you're going to listen for the words that I'm giving you and you're going to write it without seeing it. I'll show you, you'll check it, and then we'll scoop together. All right. That cat is red. So you may right now count out the words and write lines so you know how many words you need to write. That cat is red. So on your paper you might write four lines to put your words in. That cat is red. And I might write that cat is red. Pause if you need it to slow down and you need some time to write. That cat is red. Time to scoop. That cat is red. That cat is red. That cat is red. Your scoop look like this. That cat is red. Two phrases. That cat is red. Thumbs up if you got it. All right, next sentence. So next line on your paper, next part of your paper, new paper, up to you. Jim has my hat. Jim has my hat. Jim has my hat. Again, there's four words in the sentence, and that's why we're, I mentioned earlier how many, you know, I taught you yesterday about counting your words in sentences. You might write your lines. Jim has my hat. Help you keep track of how many words are in the sentence. And you might have done this with your teacher during writing, but it's a good strategy. All right, Jim has my hat. Jim has my hat. Go ahead and scoop. Jim has my hat. Two phrases. Jim has my hat. Did you get it? Thumbs up and give yourself a big pat on the back. This is some hard work. Okay. The last sentence is going to have three words. And that is, I miss you. I miss you. I miss you. I miss you. Now you might want to think of a different punctuation than a period, maybe an exclamation mark. All right, let's scoop. I miss you. I miss you. Two phrases. I miss you. 
Great job, boys and girls. All right, I forgot to mention, think about it Thursday. So that's what we're going to finish off with right now. I want you to think about some of the community helpers that you've been learning about. And I want you to think about at this time when things are, are different than usual, how are our community, community helpers helping us? I want you to think about something you can do for them. And I know maybe friends um, have put things in their windows, like the rainbows you've been seeing all over the community, so beautiful. Um, maybe a thank you note to your UPS driver who may be dropping off some Amazon packages for mom and dad. Um, so think about a community helper and send them a thank you if you can. Happy Thursday. You're doing great. We are so proud of you. Kiss your brain. Bye-bye.